Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. So we are here on, we are on the second day of summer. Um, I was going to just stop at the first day of summer and well, it was still raining. So what I did is I got, um, I did get field 74 and 76 spray with herbicide. Um, so those are done. Um... I got all the hay equipment here. As you can see, we are hooked to a John Deere baler instead of that New Holland. Um, the New Holland baler did not like the bales on this map because this map is set up for the big bales. So, um, it did not like that. As you can see, I did swath our farmyard. Uh, I swathed the grass in our farmyard here and bailed that up. I got a few bales off of that. Um... Just a couple bales. Um, up here in this shed, I did move some stuff around. I'm going to go ahead and grab the controller here instead. Um, I moved some stuff around up in here after I pulled the hay and equipment out. Uh, we stuck the chopper back in that corner, and then we put the uh, spreader, then the mixer, and then the um, slurry spreader, and then our hay buster, and then we've got the bale trailer here so then we'll just kind of put the rest of the stuff in the middle oh come on close up but uh let's see how many bales did i get off of that i got here we go i got where is bales created bales i got six total bales off of that so we got a few bales but nothing too uh crazy so let's look here. Oh, and if you guys didn't already notice uh, that the game look, might look a little bit different, I finally got shaders to correctly work. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hop into this. We're going to close course play because we ain't going to need that. And then we're going to go here and we're going to find the first grass field that we own, which it looks like it's going to be. Looks like it's going to be the one right over here. Yeah, it'll be that one over there, so. Just gonna go ahead and take the swath over there. See if we can't get some swathing done. Ah, oh, that damn collision. I still have yet to take that off. And, uh, I was doing some playing on a different save game on this map. Uh, I was combining some corn and I found out that this map is set up with corn stock bales. So, um, we'll be able to not only bale our wheat, but be able to bale our corn. And I'm guessing since there's corn stock bales that we'll be able to bale soybean straw as well. I'm not 100% sure as of now, but uh, I am going to try that out and figure out if that is something uh, that works or not. That's a nice big hay field there. Maybe we'll uh, have to pick that up in the future sometime. Oh, I did wipe out the two mailboxes. Damn. I was hoping to avoid that, but I guess not. Okay, so I guess there's not a button programmed for the, um, uh, 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 cruise control. Not sure why that was so difficult to think of.
I don't even know, I don't know why that took two screenshots again. That was dumb. But, okay. Definitely got a little bit of a drive ahead of us here. Oops, that was the wrong button. There's not a button for the hazards or the beacon either. That's what I was just trying to find. So this is to do that. This does that. That. So we have this little field here that we can cut first. You can see our wheat's popping up pretty good here. We're getting closer to harvest time for that. Oh, tell me we aren't stuck. This swather does not like uneven terrain whatsoever, and it's kind of annoying. So like it really kind of screws with where I can and can't cut. That's okay, I guess. line here because why not and we're just gonna leave those gates open There's just a little field here. Might give us a bail or two, that'd be about it. But hey, at least we are finally on to something other than uh, planting or spraying. This little tiny field, I'm probably not even gonna worry about raking because there's really nothing here to rake, even. It'd be one time in here with the rake and that'd be about it. And then another windrow left for the baler. Wouldn't even be worth the fuel to rake it. I mean, I guess we could just to make it quicker to bail, but... Alright, let's get up here and let's see, we need to go, oof, I'm not even sure this thing's going to make it through that gate. I think my player speed is turned way up. It wasn't way up, but it was up. And I believe that this is the only way into this field too, isn't it? Oh no, there is a double gate up here. Okay, so we're gonna go through that double gate then. That's a lot wider. 
I mean, we can bring a rake or the baler through that one. Well, probably the rake, if anything. But the baler definitely won't fit through there. Now with the duels on that tractor, and this thing is definitely not going to fit. So we will just go around this yard here to get to it. Oh, damn mud. Part of me just wants to remove this dynamic mud shit off of here, but at the same time, part of me kind of likes it. But not when this swather can get stuck so easily. Then I don't like it. Then it's no bueno. Or when it starts sliding it all over the damn place like this. Pretty much have to drop the head just to get it to move. Come on, get out of here, get out of here. And then I am not going on this road to get it out. Or to get into the field. And I'm going around it. Fuck that shit. There. I mean, I'll actually be able to get in here. And they open outwards, which is nice. Oh yeah, that's the passenger side that you get in on this thing. And these gates open outward, which is kind of nice. So we don't have to really quite worry about them. What the fuck? Come on, I can't be stuck, can I? Man, these things are just gonna piss me off, aren't they? We'll probably go around this like four times because then that'll be two passes with the rake. Let's see here, did I set this up with no I did not, okay. I didn't do GPS on this. I didn't know if I did or not, and apparently I did not. That's alright. I can handle steering this I guess. So yeah, we should be pretty good on corn or on straw bales, and if we can bale corn stalks too, along with even with uh, soybeans, if we can do that too, then we'll really be good. We'll see how much we can get cut in this video. We have a lot of hay to cut. And we got still gotta go back and rake and bale all of it, so there's gonna be quite a bit of haying to get done on this, that's for sure. So if you're not uh, following the Facebook page, um, just recently I had posted some pictures on it of uh, a 1966 Chevy C10 
that I had restored on Car Mechanic Simulator and uh, put on there too asking if anybody wants to see a video series on Car Mechanic Sim. So if you're not a fa part of the Facebook page, um, I guess uh, give me your feedback on here on what you would think of that. If you guys would like to see a restoration series kind of deal going on on Car Mechanic Simulator in addition to Farm Sim. It wouldn't take over Farm Sim, but it would be in addition to it. Um, you know, just kind of something a little extra. <clears throat> a little extra content uh, for you guys. Maybe have that come out earlier in the morning or something like that. Then uh, the Farm Sim series. So we still got two more times to go around this field yet. Before we uh, start just going up and down on it. Oh, why'd you shut up? That's not what I wanted it to do. I only wanted it to, uh, lift. Yeah, so we should be able to rake two of these swather passes together into one. That'll hopefully be a good thing. So, um, yeah, what I think I'm probably going to do is, you know, we'll cut as much as we can yet in this video, and then next video, uh, we'll probably come back and work on raking, and, uh, who knows, possibly bailing as well on, uh, this year's field. probably just kind of rake and bale the fields as we get them cut make things a little easier oh they're squirrely good grief
So we've almost got our last round round it done. Yeah, and I will be having a video out here soon of my uh, new work in progress map, uh, Wheatland Farms. It's going to be kind of like a time lapse video of me doing some work to it. Um, that's going to be out tomorrow in replace of a farm sim video for tomorrow. Um, just because I do have. A few things I need to work on for recording for the game. Um, I still need to fine tune my um, recording software so it doesn't drop frames when I hit record. Because for uh, for some reason it uh, drops frames as soon as I hit record. So um, actually, it's not this time. Oh no, it is. Because I was running about 30. So, uh, it's still dropping frames, so I still need to figure it out, figure out what's going on with it. And I don't want to have to try and rush and, you know, try and hurry up and figure it out. This and that. Uh, so, I'm just going to get this video recorded and out. Um, and then we'll have that video uh, out tomorrow just a time lapse of doing some work on the map probably be working on field boundaries and some field fences field entrances stuff like that um, you know just some little stuff you know kind of the stuff that I'm working on basically there's not a whole lot to it right at the moment I'm still trying to get some stuff done, so I still got a lot left to do on that map. So I might actually be able to finish cutting this field in this video, which will be uh, good. See if we can't get it all done. screenshot here let's see if we can do a little bit of this in cab see if we can manage So, another thing that I did find out about this map is that the Global Company mod is installed in it. Um, or the global, global Company script is installed in it. So, the few uh, 
grain bin setups that are out there uh, the grain dryer setups that are out um, we can actually place and be able to use it and dry our corn so uh, in fact one of them it dries corn it dries wheat I think I don't know it dries a few different products so we might uh, look into getting that uh, someday in the future obviously we're still gonna have grain bins uh, for the time being uh, because I mean we're not gonna be able to store all of our corn in the grain you know just set up for drying because it's more so set up for you put in what you're drying and then you pull out the dry stuff so that's kind of how that one's set up more so than uh, for storage I mean, you can store some grain in it, but once we uh, once we are in need of a grain leg like that, I mean, I don't know how how much land we'll be running then to where you know to how much grain we'll be getting and stuff. So it's kind of have to find out. Cool, so we are going to finish this field in this video. And I guess what we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and move this guy up to our next one. I'm just going to go ahead and shut that timer off for now. Because we're not going to really completely follow it right now. I'm going to go around the road this time. Alright, so our next one's going to be... This guy right here, up by field 50. So it's going to be a little bit of a trek. So actually, I think what I'll do off camera is I'll get... I'll get the swather driven up to that hay field by field 50. And then I'll get the rake brought over to this field so that way we can do some raking. I'll also get the baler brought over here so we can do some raking and baling um, in our next farm sim video. So that's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, be sure to turn on the post notifications if you have not already to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you check out down below in the description where you can find my PC specs, my upload schedule, all of my social medias, as well as links to some other good YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.